లార్డ్ హాలెలుయా థ్యాంక్ యూ జీసస్ ప్రైస్ యూ హోలీ స్పిరిట్ ప్రైస్ యూ అబా ఫాదర్ మై సిస్టర్స్ అండ్ బ్రదర్స్ ఇన్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ యాజ్ వీ లిసన్ టు ద వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ లెట్ అస్ ప్రే దట్ ద స్పిరిట్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ విల్ గైడ్ అస్ స్ట్రెంగ్తన్ అస్ యూ నైట్ ఆ ఫ్యామిలీ విత్ గ్రేట్ లవ్ కేర్ అండ్ కన్సర్న్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ద వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ప్రామిస్ అస్ టుడే ద లెటర్ టు ది ఎఫిషియన్స్ చాప్టర్ త్రీ వర్సెస్ ట్వంటీ now to him who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever amen in this word of god my sisters brothers there's a great mystery to be revealed here saint paul tells us about a great power what is this power and with the power what can we do see the word of god now to him who by the power at work what does it mean there is a power at work in your life there is an interior power that is working day within you of course you can find the external powers such as money such as relations your job anything that you prefer yes that is power at the same time with the exterior power you may not be able to do everything that is the reason people they have the money they have the relations they have everything in their life but at the end of the day they are quite depressed disappointed they find a kind of vacuum in their life what is the reason even though the exterior power is with them they lack something so internal and here is the word of god saint paul would, would suggest the interior power the power of the holy spirit must work deep within you once the interior power the holy spirit begins to work in your life everything will be in tune with the plan of god and there begins the anointed life there begins the great glory of jesus shining over your life sisters and brothers let us think about 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 the creation of world how god created you and me of course the word of god would tell us that uh, god created us in the image and likeness in the image and likeness of god of course that's fine yes and when we when we go deeper after the creation of human being god almighty breathed into the nostrils the anointing of the holy spirit the real holy spirit is inside you you and i we are created in such a way that there is a space for holy spirit inside of us in our mind in our body in our in our heart there is a spirit there's a holy spirit there's a space for the holy spirit that is how we are constructed that is how we are created now sisters and brothers again we come to the to the letter to the corinthians uh, first letter to the corinthians chapter 6 verses 20 first uh, uh, letter to corinthians chapter 6 verses 20 please listen to that how holy spirit is there inside your body inside, inside your mind do you not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit within you which you have from god see that there is the holy spirit from god and that spirit resides in your body it is explicit so without the holy spirit there is no life understand as we listen the word of god wherever you are you may be sitting in a sofa chair in in everywhere please understand that you have all the external power what you lack today is the interior power the real power of the holy spirit sister but the right now i tell you pray for the holy spirit if you feel that you are depressed if you feel that you are standing at the crossroads of your life if you really feel that nobody to help you if you feel that nothing works in your life what you need is the interior power i have seen many people in my life they are having such anointed such anointing the holy spirit the power the strength what a 
whatever they do, they may not have much ex external power, money, source, relations, nothing of that sort. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever they do, that becomes a good reality. I say that good reality. That will be something so blessed. That will be some joyous. So if you really want to be joyous in your life, if you really want to be powerful in your life, First, strengthen the internal person by the Holy Spirit. That's what that's what the Word of God would teach us today. Uh, in this Word of God, in this Word of God, Second Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter one, verses uh, uh, seven, seven. Listen to that word. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. See that. It's an internal nature. You understand that? It's an internal nature. You have all the external natures. But if you really want to be a good person, you need love. You need self-control. You need anointing. So all this power given from God through the Holy Spirit. If you need, if, if you need the real love, the internal man be strengthened. Let me ask you one question, my sister, brother. Without being loud, without loving others, can you live here on earth? It is impossible reality. Somebody must be there in the world to love you. And also you must love at least one person in the world. Otherwise, it will be a horrible life that you're experiencing today. And so if you need the internal person be strengthened, you need the Holy Spirit. You need the greatest power. This is the mighty power. How it is explained, God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-control sisters brothers we need this holy spirit what i'm saying is that the internal man must be strengthened the internal spirit if there is a space for the Holy Spirit, that space must be occupied by the Holy Spirit. And today what happens, you know, in this world, that space is occupied by some other persons, some objects, some ideology, whatever it may be. And your whole life may be surrounded, rotating around that person or object or ideology. And what happens, you will end up in a big mess and you will end up in a big distress. The reason is the holiness, the Holy Spirit, the space of the Holy Spirit is occupied by something dirty, something, something that is not, not in tune with the construction of your body. So you need the Holy Spirit and instead of Holy Spirit, if you have kept anything inside your mind, I tell you today, I understand that is not good for you. So bring Holy Spirit back into your mind. That is what uh, King David did, you know. What did he do? He was such a powerful anointed man in his, in his childhood. He used to he used to go for uh, go to the forest, okay, along with all the sheep. He was a shepherd. And what happened? The word of God would say he would kill the lions with his small hands. How? The internal man is so powerful. See, the external force is so high. The lions are there before him. Even then, he is so courageous to kill even the lions with mighty power. It is not the power of his hand. It is not the power of his leg. It is not the power of the body. It is the power of the Holy Spirit that worked deep within him and that killed everything. Sister, brother, don't think that you are weak. If you are filled by the Holy Spirit, you may be a small child. I tell you, you can conquer the world. The greatest enemy that you find today will come before you and kneel down before you if you are filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. So today what the world lacks is the Holy Spirit. You see, you are created and God breathed into the nostril the power, the holy power. Sisters and brothers, today we breathe dirty spirit around us. See, if a boy, if a girl, if any person in the world breathing something dirty inside the mind, watching pornography, watching negative things in the YouTube, whatever it may be, you got some videos from somebody else through WhatsApp or any other media, I tell you, you are breathing dirty spirit into your mind and the body and the soul, the heart, everything is defiled and the all life is corrupted. See, the holiness has gone. The negative spirit has come in. Instead of the Holy Spirit, the dirty spirit came. This is the same thing happened in the life of uh, this great, powerful, anointed young boy, David. He became the king of Israel. One day, what happened? The devil spirit, he breathed into his life 
a girl, the dirtiness, the bad trouble. I don't, I don't say that the girl is bad, but the way he dealt with the reality that is so bad. And un, un, unfortunately, that girl came to his life and that literally spoiled his life. Sisters and brothers, today we have to understand that this man in his repentance Psalms 51, he is saying a wonderful word. What is that? You know, God, you take away everything from me, but please don't take the Holy Spirit from me. That's what the wonderful prayer he's reciting. Lord, you take away everything from me, but don't take away the Holy Spirit from me. The reason is that he understood if the Holy Spirit, the interior man is collapsed, he, he is not able to do anything. Sisters, brothers, if you feel that you are standing at the crossroads of your life, the problem problem is the interior man is collapsed. So today you have to reconstruct your life. The book of Haggai would say the latter glory of the temple will be greater than the former. What happens? The spirit of God will construct it. The anointing will come. The strength will come. You're going to be a new creation in Christ Jesus. So sister, brother, what you have to do? As David prayed, Lord, don't take the Holy Spirit away from me. I understand that instead of Holy Spirit, I have brought in many people, many ideology, many objects in my life as a fundamental option. And I opt today as the fundamental option in my life is the Holy Spirit. I need this power, the mighty anointing. I understand that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and I don't want to defile my body anymore. Sisters, brother, there is another person in the Old Testament, namely Samson, very powerful person. You see, he killed a thousand people with the skull of a dead donkey. Can you imagine that? A person killed thousand people at a stretch with the skull of a dead donkey. You know, it's not such a big, 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 uh, uh, you know, weapon to kill the people. Even then the power was there. What was the power the Holy Spirit was there? He had the Nasir vow and the anointing of the Holy Spirit was inside him. One day he breathed something dirty in his life. Today you think about that. If you are addicted to bad habits, if you are doing something very dirty, that is not the plan of God. If you are doing something very negative work in your workplace and earning money in your life, actually you are breathing something dirty into your family, into your life and you are literally crushing the family into different different pieces sister brother so what you have to do is today avoid all the circumstances objects all the people and breathe holy spirit and this man breathed dirty things into his life and the word of God would say he didn't know that the spirit of God left him. He didn't know that the spirit of God left him. Today this is very crucial in many people's life. People, you and I, we do not understand the Holy Spirit left me, left you, left the body and the temple is completely polluted and in that polluted temple the dirty spirit is living. Today I invite all of you to understand understand the great reality to repentance you repent you repent you bring holy spirit back into your life praise the lord hallelujah thank you holy spirit worship you above father worship you holy spirit so today what you have to think right now is bring holy spirit back into your life your body your soul your mind your heart is, is, is in need of the power of the Holy Spirit. Sisters, brothers, you may think that you have the power of the exterior life, external forces, but it will not last forever. Only the power of the Holy Spirit will sustain in your life and that Spirit will help you to understand what the world is, what to do, what is going to happen. So this is the Spirit of wisdom, discernment, the power, unity, love, care, concern. So you need this great Holy Spirit in your life. You see, when the Holy Spirit comes, what a mighty power that you're receiving. That we have to understand that how much power we receive when the Holy Spirit comes in. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 onwards, we find the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples with such a mighty power. So don't underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the mighty power the world has ever seen. Such a great power, the mighty power you will never find anywhere in the world, in any person, anywhere. This is the greatest power. 
You see, at the beginning of the creation, we find the Holy Spirit was moving over the water. Everything was stand still, but at the same time, the Holy Spirit was moving over the water. I tell you, this power can move any static reality into dynamic. The dynamic force, the anointed force of the Holy Spirit can do any miracle in your life. So pray for the Holy Spirit. You see, I, I still remember in our families, you know, they, they don't know much theology. Our fathers, our, our parents, they don't know much theology. But what do they do? You know, evening we have the family prayer and they begin the prayer in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So you see, they seek the power of the Holy Spirit as they begin the evening prayer. Who, uh, uh, night prayers then they will sing a hymn welcoming Holy Spirit oh welcome Holy Spirit come into our life fill our life fill every corner of the family with your love you see they don't know the theology but I tell you they understood the interior man must be strengthened and the interior person is strengthened in the family the family has got an unimaginable power unknowing bond unknowing strength strength so what happened the devil force will come and stand outside it cannot enter in because they pray every day that the spirit of god you must come and strengthen the internal person sister brother if in a family there is no relation there is no unity there is no love there is no understanding there is always quarrels fight dissensions and conflicts i tell you the internal spirit which is that that we have to discern and we have to understand the holy spirit can sustain the real the sustainable peace and joy in your family so bring holy spirit so here here we go uh, chapter 2 verses 1 when the day of pentecost had come they were all together in one place see that word of god they were all together in one place unity unity so in your family in your family what Whatever may be the stark reality or the greatest difficulty you face, if you pray with the unity for Holy Spirit, I tell you what's going to happen. Here we go. And suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. See that the Spirit of God is coming like a mighty wind so this mighty wind will come and come inside your life so this mighty wind this mighty power if it is there inside your family the weak powers of the world the devil spirit will not attack you so what you lack today is the mighty wind mighty power we need the sisters my we need this brothers in our family pray don't don't pray like this holy spirit come help me no, don't pray like that you pray for the mighty wind holy spirit come and strengthen us unite us we need this mighty power everyone in a un in, in such a unity if you pray i tell you the same thing which happened in early christians life it is going to happen in your life the mighty will wind will defend you here's the word of god and suddenly a sound came from heaven like a rush of a mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting it filled all the houses they, they were sitting what does it mean there are some spaces which is to be filled you understand that if there is a quarrel and dispute what is the real problem you know system brother that is an empty vessel that should be filled so your family your, your empty vessel should be filled we try to fill our empty vessels with the concern of some other people and we really beg love from other people in fact we don't get it back the people would say i'll call you later sometimes they would say see you later see you later they don't have no time they don't have any time sister brother if you are in search of love or anything and if you want to fill the empty vessels of your life with the concern of some other people, you will reach nowhere in your life. So what we have to do? Filled by the Holy Spirit, all the space of our body. I would say, oh, your hand, your leg, your eyes, your ears, your mouth, everything should be filled by the Holy Spirit. That's the wind. Then you go anywhere the wind is going, the mighty wind is going. What happened, you know, wherever you go, the Spirit will work. When you touch somebody, when you see something, when you listen something, when you speak something, 
everything will be guided controlled by the power of the holy spirit so this is a complete transformation in your life so sister brother we need this holy spirit today praise the lord hallelujah again in acts of the apostles chapter 4 verses 31 we find a group of people the disciples the early christians they are praying together in unity because many disciples they are in jail and sometimes they will kill them they have no idea absolute uncertainty absolute uncertainty in this time what they do you know they gather together in unity and they started praying for the anointing of the holy spirit there's a mighty power and what happened the word of god we teach us and when they had prayed the place in which they were gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the holy spirit see that they were in in a, in a big dilemma and what happened uncertainty that situation they surrendered the inner being must be strengthened lord we need power what lord we need power they did not pray for the external forces they pray for the internal person being strengthened and what happened the place they were praying was shaken what does it mean the bondages are crushed if you feel that some kind of bondages in your life the dark force prevailing over your life sister brother you must pray that the place be shaken the bondages be broken there be anointing of the holy spirit so this spirit of god is a mighty spirit and if you are filled by the holy spirit i tell you nobody can deceive you today many people would say he deceived me he cheated me she cheated me so this is a big big crisis in today's life i tell you if you have the holy spirit nobody nobody in the world can defeat you nobody can cheat you because there's a beautiful incident in the new testament we find a man namely ananias and a girl namely sophia husband and wife now early christians they they shared everything they had everything in common but this man guided by the devil spirit you see they are guided by the devil spirit and they breathed what money inside how to earn money negative ways and what happened they sold out the property and a, a great portion they kept aside and the leftover money they gave to the disciples especially saint peter and what happened you know the spirit of god would uh, teach us the, uh, the, the the anointing of the holy Holy Spirit was not upon them. Then, uh, then Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit? See, you sinned against the Holy Spirit. When you deceive somebody, you sinned against the Holy Spirit. Sisters, brothers, if anybody attacks the Holy Spirit, that, perish, that person will perish. That's a reality. Here, what happened? Ananias fell down and he died. Again, Sapphira came and lied against, against the truth. And he spoke with Peter. Again, Peter said, How is it that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? You see, they tried to attack the Holy Spirit. They committed sin against the Holy Spirit. Sapphira also dead. Sister, brother, understand one thing. If you are filled by the Holy Spirit, no devil force can touch you. You are protected. You are defended by the Holy Spirit because this is the way you are constructed. You must be strengthened. You must be anointed. You must be blessed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. So today, as we listen to the word of God, every time take a decision that i need holy spirit i need mighty wind my inner power is the most important thing the external powers of course you need it but important thing it is you need the internal power the real holy spirit which the early christians had and today many people receive the anointing so today you pray Holy Spirit, come and anoint me. Holy Spirit, bless me. Remember the word of God. Now to him, by the power at work within us, is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. This Holy Spirit will bless you. This Holy Spirit will help you to be a perfect person, to be a joyous person. Take out all the impurities from your life and always remember you are constructed in such a way that there is a space for the Holy Spirit in your body. So understand that presence of the Holy Spirit. Pray to Holy Spirit. The mighty wind will be with you forever and you will be a wonderful person here on earth. God bless each one of you so much. Amen. Amen.